I'll make a quick video showing someone actually using voltage drop, not just talking about it. There's lots of great videos on YouTube where people kind of show you the principles of how voltage drop works, but here we're going to actually use it to diagnose a no-start issue on this motorcycle. So, keys on, hit the start button, nothing. Now, we can hear the relay down here. It is clicking. And if you if you put your hand on it, you can feel it clicking. So we know we know we're getting a signal for it to start. But the starter's not turning over. A lot of people would just instantly assume, well, the starter's bad. Let's bang on it with a hammer. But we can do that. Um, for sure. But just check out our our voltmeter here and see if we can't just figure out maybe something else that's going on this is live video editing so sorry for the moving around All right. so we're going to set our multimeter to uh, DC volts that's what we're working with here. We're going to get the positive lead, hook it up to the, the positive side of the battery, and then the negative lead, and hook it up to the starter post. Well, I misspoke. I'm going to hook it up to the, the negative side of the battery because, of course, the, the cable going to the starter is positive. So got one lead on the positive side of the battery and the other lead I'm sorry on the I just did it again on the negative side of the battery and the other lead is on the starter so we're gonna see uh, how much voltage is present when I hit the start button here let's see what we find out oh well that's not enough voltage at all that's not enough voltage at all to make a starter run so we have a massive voltage drop. Okay, well, let's grab that cable off the starter and come over here. Well, do we have do we have voltage here on the first post going into the solenoid? Well, we do. Stay on there. Let's remove the signal wire here for a little bit. Get this on here, see if we can get that back in there. No. <laughs> it's kind of hard to do with uh, only two hands. All right, just stay put. Okay, now let's hit it again. Okay, so we're dropping a little bit, but well, we've got 12 volts there. We're hitting it. We know the relay is actuating, so we're drawing some voltage. Um, all right, so voltage is here from the battery. So let's now hook it up to the other side of this relay and see what's going on here. We got zero volts. Same thing. Let that voltage drop again. That is not 12 volts. That is not enough to even make the starter move. So now we know we we have an issue here with this uh, with this relay. So we got power coming in, but there's no voltage on the backside. We know the signal wire is working because the solenoid is clicking. You could test those signal wires for voltage as well, but we already know. It's click, 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 click whenever you hit the starter. So, the way these are made on the inside, they, uh, they have two contactor tips and a magnetic coil that pulls them together and allows the voltage and amperage to flow through and engage the starter. So, I'm going to swap this relay out real quick and see what happens. All right, now we've got that relay. So 
switched out. So my lead's gonna go back on the negative terminal of the battery. And we'll just kind of test here. Yep, got 12 volts there. And zero volts here because again, we're not hitting the start button, so we're getting no signal from the signal wire yet. So this should be around 12-ish volts if this relay was the issue, not to mention that the bike should start. So let's see where our voltage reads and if the bike starts. Well, how about that? We saw it jump up to about 10 volts. So we saw it jump up to about 10 volts. And uh, you know, the, the starter is a high draw uh, item on um, a motorized vehicle. So it dropped the battery voltage from 12.15 or whatever. And the battery is a little weak on this bike. Um, dropped it down to 10 volts and it started. And that's simple voltage drop. Easy peasy. Don't overthink it. Also, Ain't it nice to replace a $20 relay instead of a $200 starter? That's good stuff.